My name is Onyeka Aquarero. I'm from Delta State. Day before yesterday, I took my mom to Lagos for the Visa Application Center. So yesterday, we decided to come back to worry. So on our way coming, around 7 o'clock in the morning, we got to the first park. So when we got to the first park, they told us it's an AC bus and everything. After paying huge sum of money, after paying, they, they got halfway and they said, uh, okay, I was telling them, okay, please on your AC. They said, there's no AC. I said, you have to return me back to the park if you don't have AC. So the driver started making some arguments and I saw one first man there i reported him to the i reported the man to him and he ordered the man to take me back to the park the man took us back to the park so when we got to the park we told them to refund us our money and they gave us our money peacefully and we left there to another park when we got to another park after loading for like they we, we we like spending enough time after they, they loaded us on the bus like around 12 we started the journey so when we started the journey as we were going on the way we saw one man by the side he squatted he was wearing these calories and he was looking strange he, 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 he was carrying one small black bag at okota day so uh, the bus driver just stopped he said oga come how much you want pay enter all of us we said this man will not enter this bus this particular man will not enter he's saying it's just an awesome man that does not have money so i said why is he wearing calories why is he looking like this he will not enter we started saying we want to go back to our various houses that we are tired of this journey it's it, it, it was already one it was already around one to two then so they pleaded with us that we shouldn't go back, that we should please enter another vehicle and leave. So they loaded us on another bus. So we started the journey. When we got to Olobo, yeah, after Benin, when we got to Olobo, at the very spot that we are, we saw a tanker. The tanker was at the front of us. All of a sudden, the tanker fell because we spent hours there. We started, uh, and I'm talking about like 9, 10, at, the, at night, the tanker fell. So we saw community people, even my driver came down, started fetching the foyer. We were just there. I'm like, Jesus Christ, this place is very terrible. God of prophet Jeremiah, please, if you can take us out of this place, God, I started crying, even my mom, I was with my mom, my mom started, we were just there with other people. So all of a sudden, the driver came down. This is a very, as in a tight O double. It, we, there's no going, you cannot go to anybody, you, anywhere. You just see the community people. They are coming with, they, they are coming with gallons. Many of them, they'll be fetching. Our driver went there also. So all of a sudden, our driver came down and he said, let me watch this place if we can pass. All of us started telling him, you cannot pass here look at this place we might fall inside this place and the place there, there as in there was huge mud there like a vehicle cannot pass there is not possible so all of a sudden the driver just entered he said everybody prepare yourself so we entered through that place only we at that queue we entered through the place we just left that place and one he lost behind us left with us not up to three minutes that place exploded everybody died there everybody i have the videos on my phone i was there too you need to see the dead body and see all of us we ran out of the car my mom my mom ran out of the car i left my mom i, I cannot even remember anything i left my mom we just left each other we started running so when i got so when i got to this junction uh, what's the name of this when i got to coco junction i ran to coco junction when we got to Coco Junction, we started waiting. I started announcing my, my mom's name. Victoria Aparero, where are you? I started going back. I saw some old men. They said, Madam, go back. You can see this fire coming. Uh, other vehicles, they are burning. And this fire is coming. To... I said, what of my mother? What of my mother? So all of a sudden, 
I saw our driver. I saw our driver. The driver came. The driver said, take. I saw this phone inside the car. And, and they said, and, oh, okay. As I was looking for my mom, people there, they said I should own the phone. I said I cannot own the phone. I took my own phone. My own phone is blind. My own phone got blind. So somebody gave me power bank. I owned the phone. And when I, 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 when I owned the phone, I saw one international. The number looks like an international number. When I called the number, I said, please, I saw this miscall on this phone, my mom's phone. So, and he said, we saw your mom in Co at Coco Junction. She was very tired and we took her straight after Mercy City. We dropped her at Army Estate. So when I told everybody there, they became very happy. That's when we stayed here around five o'clock this morning and we started the journey on our way. It was very tough, but I thank God Almighty. I got home not quite long and I said, I must come to the church to testify. I oh said, my God, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Uh, Caesar, there are thousands out there who don't know this grace you're talking about. What can you tell them? What is your advice for viewers out there watching us right now? I want them to believe in God Almighty and believe in the God of Prophet Jeremiah Umoto Fufuyi. There is God here. There is God here. If I'm speechless. I'm still. I'm God. There is God. Oh in my this God. Place. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. There is God in Mercy City. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Voilà, nous disons merci pour la vie de notre sœur qui est ici présente pour témoigner des bienfaits du Seigneur Jésus dans sa vie. Elle dit avant-hier, pendant qu'elle effectuait un voyage de Lagos à Awari avec sa maman, il y a eu un incident qui s'est produit sur la route de Bini où il y a un camion Citane s'est renversé et les gens ont accouru pour récupérer le carburant et dans le processus, le camion Citane a pris feu. Voilà, notre sœur a été épargnée avec sa maman, raison pour laquelle elle est ici aujourd'hui pour dire merci au Dieu de Prophète Jérémy. Applaudissons pour le Seigneur. Merci la Arena of Solution and Power. Merci la Arena of Solution and Power. My name is Yaisha from Togo. We live, we live in Burkina Faso. He's my friend. My testimony go like this. Now my sister then kidnap. So then then call me at the Mercy City. Yes, so I they play with to the pigeon. Papa locate me for mountain. So Papa pray for the pigeon. So from that day, my sister, they can't release my sister. After they release her, my sister called me. Say, since that day, if you they sleep, you see one black man, they, me and the man, they come to them. The man, they talk our language. The man, they talk one language, they use our language, they follow and they talk. So now I say, go know the man. He say, for drinking, but he never know the man for fiscal. Come send Papa Pichon for her. He say, yes, now this is my day for he drink. So from that. If you are clapping for this great God, you can do better than that now. So he said, from there, the kidnapper before, then they beat and say, men bring people number, men them bring money, come collect them. The girl say, no, get anybody. Number go call the kidnapper, they beat them. From that day, they see the man kidnapper, come start the, they like and they give them food. Come they like him matter. So then come wake up early morning, say, Madam, today you must leave here or your matter don't tire us. So now, so kidnapper come tell and say, Where is your place? He say, Now Togo. So then kidnapper and go, ah, because so from there, book, eh, Kinapa then come bring and to Burkina Faso then come the Kinapa come bring and for our house. So today I dare say my what you got, gentlemen. Somebody put those hands together for Jesus. All right, for a clear and better understanding, let us watch a playback where the man of God, Tina for Jeremiah Motorfrain, located our sister right in the mountain. Run away. Huh? Yes. Running away. Kidnappers. Yes. She's in the hand of kidnappers. Yes. Right now, that I'm seeing that that's what I'm seeing. Yes. God will answer you. Amen. Any of your sisters or brothers that who have been under the custody of kidnappers now, let them come out, whatever you're watching me. Yes. Amen. I'm seeing kidnappers. That's all. She's crying there. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. She's crying. Okay, Father, Martina. how many weeks? Three months now. Three months? Yeah. Let me see a picture. 
in numbers. So we have to pray for her because it's a, it's a, line, a place of death. I'm seeing place of death, death, death. Now death, graveyard, that we have seen now. Graveyard. What happened? What, what, what happened? You job missing from Burkina Faso. Sorry, what? Burkina Faso. Uh -huh. Say with it. She went to where? There are no concerns. Of Burkina Faso? Yes. Yes. In the place of kidnappers. Bad boys. Yes. Taking her now. She's under the court study now. Father, I pray for that picture. There's nothing is too hard for you. Yes. Father, show mercy upon that picture. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, bless that photo. Amen. And other people photos that who are also. I yet for prayers. I'm watching me for prayers. May God answer you all in Jesus' name. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. We all heard and listened and saw when the man of God, Sin of Prophet Jeremiah, Omote Fifin, located our sister right in the mountains. For how many, how many days or how many months or how many weeks now they take kidnap your sister? How many days she stayed in the uh, kidnapper's den? Now four months. For good the day, four months. Yeah, the day Papa located me now three months. So now say this month they finish now now then Liliza. So you mean to say she has stayed in the kidnappers den for three good months, and within a month after you located, after you were located by a senior prophet Jeremiah Omutofi and a man of God, finished praying within the period of one month. That lady that has been kidnapped for three good months, all of a sudden she was released, and somebody is still sitting down like that. Oh. Somebody put those hands together for Jesus. All right, uh, sister, I want to ask you, there are so many persons that are listening to you. What word of advice would you have to give to them, you that have tasted from this superpower? Now my advice is, no why for this place. So I pray if anybody then kidnap and God Jeremiah may do one like do my sister want to. Voilà, nous nous résistons avec cette famille aujourd'hui. Il y a, elle disait que sa sœur était kidnappée euh, dans à Burkinabé, dans le pays de la Burkina Faso. Et c'est si en sorte qu'elle est venue ici à Christ Mercy Land pour chercher la face de l'éternel. Et l'homme de Dieu, le prophète Jérémie Omotofoufou, il l'avait localisé et il a prié pour elle dans le carnal de son portable, dans le téléphone. Et après cela, et sa sœur qui a été kidnappée pendant trois mois a été relâchée. Aujourd'hui, elle est venue à nouveau pour dire merci au Dieu du prophète Jérémie pour cette restauration totale. Applaudissons pour le Seigneur. We rejoice with you once more and we pray that your testimony will remain permanent in the name of our Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Somebody you. put those hands together for Jesus.